I'm okay. I guess I might as well unpack. I'm gonna choose to believe this isn't about me. I can see why Gabe fits in so well here. Oh god, Shushu's gonna look so grungy on this nice bed. She's gotten me through some hard times, but I was hoping we were done with that. Ethan's really talented.
try. I'm telling you, his story doesn't add up. He wants you. He's helping me get into college, baby. You know dudes can do nice things without the expectation of getting laid, right? A high school dropout? A guy who went to a fucking juvie? Wants to be your study buddy? What, out of the goodness of his heart? Oh my god, Mac, we're friends. There is nothing going on between Gabe and me. Alex. Do I want to know? Guess I kind of gave Gabe the runaround. Anita and Eduardo. They were one of the good ones. Wow. Gabe's been looking for me for a while. I never heard back from Sydney. I hope she's okay. At least she cared. More than I can say for most. I really wish those meds had worked. Chelsea. The rare bright spot from my time in the group home. What an honor to be the sister of the Rubber Duck Derby second place finisher. Charlotte made this? Gabe mentioned she was an artist, but I didn't realize he meant, like, professionally. I could never make something so... personal. Huh. I've really changed the art style since I read these. Wait, what? Is that a real, live, dead deer? Gabe brushing up on comics and art? Really going the extra mile for Ethan and Charlotte. Must be Ethan's. Wonder how many times Gabe's been forced to play. We didn't even get to finish the song. Crazy how much we've changed. No way. Guess Gabe didn't cut out our parents. How mature. Look at them. Mom's healthy. Dad's only kind of an asshole. It's really nice that Gabe and I both held on to this photo. My journal. Time to add my latest meltdown. So Mac was reading Riley's text, boyfriend of the year.
Ugh. I'll finish this later. No fucking way. Well, Alex, you just went nuts and beat the shit out of somebody in front of your brother. So, how are you feeling right now? When you were here before, couldn't look you in the eye. Dress like an angel Your skin makes me cry You float like a feather In a beautiful world I wish I was special You're so very special But I'm a creep I'm a weirdo What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here Whatever makes you happy Whatever you want You're so very special God, I wish I was special But I'm a creep I'm a weirdo What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here I don't belong here. You and your damn surprises, Gabe. Being here is too good to be true. I'm not gonna let anything mess it up. I should go downstairs and set things right with Gabe. But it looks like Mr. John Chin left San Miguel County about six months after his arrival. Yeah, is, is there like a forwarding address on file? I'm sorry, sir. That's not information we retain. Thanks again for calling the San Miguel County Clerk's Office. And have a pleasant afternoon. No, 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 no! Hey, don't! <sighs> Looks like we've both had people trying to help us. I'm glad it made a difference for Gabe. Gabe looks like he fits right in.
Brian, just forget it. Stop that. You need to take care of yourself. Got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. Oh, looks pretty nasty right about here. <laughs> So, it hurts when you breathe? Alex, you made it. Charlotte, right? I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. Dad, I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. It's fine, I don't need to go- well, Ryan knows what he's doing now, you just go with him. <sighs> Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Well, there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. I love that. It's a falling star? Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. So, what's it doing today? Wow. <laughs> I don't know. Today's been a roller coaster so far. I can't imagine. I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic. He obviously thinks you're really cool. I know literally nothing about kids, but he seems like one of the good ones. I appreciate that. He's my favorite person. Beef pie special. Watch the gravy. <laughs> Jed, you didn't have to. Now, Ryan said you're skipping dinner. No starving artists on my watch. I do have to get going. I'm making some pieces for the spring festival and they have to be done tonight. Sorry I couldn't talk longer. Oh, that's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah, same. Bye. Thanks for supper. Yep. So I'm short-staffed at the moment. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple years experience as a server? Uh... Gabe's full of shit. I've never worked in a restaurant before. Never stops that one. But I would love the work if experience isn't an issue. Want to give it a try? It's not too busy right now, and we keep it informal around here. Okay. Thanks. All right. So, we have a few folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. Uh, there's a table in the back that needs clearing also. You can give the food orders to me, and I'll handle anyone here at the bar, all right? Got it. It's really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. Guess I'm a server now. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. I should check on that table. Can I get you two anything? Miss Chen, here at last to relieve our suspense. Hi. I am... Reginald McAllister, the third, ducky to friends, former entrepreneur, now retired. And this young woman is Diane. Hey there. Nice to meet you. I didn't realize that... Uh, that we all knew you were coming? Yes. Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. You're from Portland, right? I moved here from D.C. six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? I've been here one day, and I've already hit my hug quota for the year. <laughs> She's funny. 
Diane is a geologist, recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms, and my usual to drink. Jed will know what to do. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. My dad was in the service. Damn boys, always fighting. Time to grow up. Should have seen Gabe go at it with dad. He's come a long way. Hey, Dad. Yeah? I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Go ahead. One cheeseburger with mushrooms. Uh-huh, and? One pie special with fries. Ducky asked for his usual? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a personal bottle for him. Oh, that's odd. I don't see it. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Serves him right, if you ask me. But feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. Oh, if you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with them. Might have some idea. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Typhon's not a bad company. Once you get used to how they operate. Starting over from right. scratch like this? Yeah, that's what people keep Fucking telling Fucking terrifying is what it is. You're telling me. It takes me. minutes on the ropes, though. Huh? Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh, no. I'm good. Thanks, though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now, though, if you want to chat. So, are you, um, here with somebody? Or... That's Ryan's stuff. Apparently he ditched me for Gabe. They went to get first aid. <laughs> Being a hero again. Ryan's always doing that. <laughs> It's a Lucan family thing. Have you heard about Jed's rescue? It was a big deal. Back when he was a minor, he saved- I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. Sorry, Jed. He doesn't like to brag, but there's stuff about it all over the place if you look. Interesting. Is that record store inventory? <laughs> no, it's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? I've heard the term before. Live action role play. It's like a tabletop role playing game, but acted out in real life. Costumes, foam weapons, beanbag spells. It's great. Gabe was talking about a LARP with Ethan. Yeah, it's next week. They're coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. <laughs> Would you ever want to join us sometime? Um, it sounds cool, but I'm sure I'd feel too self-conscious doing it. That's fair. Playing with the right people helps, though. I should get back to work. Okay. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Haven is nice. Just 
wish it felt like home. Hope we both get there soon. It's getting better for sure. All right, let's see if I can find Ducky's whiskey up here. Ooh, now I know where the ramen is. No whiskey though. This all looks really fancy, but no rye whiskey. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized you whiskey. Want to hit the trails later this week? Are you kidding? Shit. Now Max's scared. At least he's not freaking out anymore. He won't make me lose control. Holy shit. Can I talk to you real quick? What do you want? Listen, what happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. That is bullshit. And you know it. I was defending Gabe from you. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Look, Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated. I, I, I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? <laughs> so you're saying you want me to lie to cover your ass? No. No, just, like, let me handle it. Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. I, I don't know, man. Shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god, look at your face. No, it's okay. Don't even. What were you thinking? Where's Gabe? Why do you give a shit? Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. I swear. This is it. You better have a good explanation or... We're done. It's, it's not my fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About what? About you! About why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay. So how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me. 
Okay. Um, not exactly sucker punched, but he definitely started it. Oh, God. Were you there too? Yeah, I was there. But, um, I need to get back to work. Sure. Alex, we'll, uh, we'll get out of your way. I can't believe you two. It sounds so childish. I know. I'm sorry. I just get so worked up thinking of you with him. Alex Chen? Uh... So, you were there when your brother assaulted Mac Loudon? I'm Jason Pike, Deputy Sheriff. I'm gonna have to take you and your brother in for questioning. Mac assaulted Gabe. He's the one you want. <laughs> your face. <laughs> you should see your face. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Uh, nobody's in trouble here. I... <laughs> Gabe and I just like to prank each other. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely got me. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport. Can I buy you a drink? Um, maybe. I'm working right now. Well, I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay? <sighs> out of line? Did I come on too strong? It was bold. I'll give you that. Hey, Alex. Were you hanging out with Ducky and Gabe last night? Who told? <laughs> <laughs> so, Ducky apparently lost his favorite whiskey. Possibly upstairs? Oh, no. You remember seeing him with it? Oh, when I left, he was still down here. Oh, but you know what? You should check Gabe's wall of shame. Might have some incriminating evidence. <laughs> okay, thanks. I will. Well, I've got to get back to work. Later, Alex. One's from yesterday. Hold up. It was Colonel Ducky on Gabe's couch with the bottle. upstairs in Gabe's couch really must have been a night many thanks Alex well it's my first day working here so 
put in a good word for me, okay? <laughs> She's a go-getter. Can I pour you a glass? Uh, no, no. Allow me. To Miss Alex Chen, a most tenacious detective. To Alex. Cheers. what Jed asked me to do. I should see if he needs anything else. My dad was in the service. Back again? I'm ready to take you up on that drink. All right. Hey, hey Jed, can we get, uh... Thanks. And keep it quick. She's on the clock. <laughs> You know, your brother's been talking about you getting here for months. I'm starting to get the sense. I even remember exactly the day he found your number. He was telling everybody in this place. Really? Yeah. Pretty heartwarming stuff. Well, I've got to get back to work. Later, Alex. Are you finished up with everything you want to do? Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Well, speak of the devil. How you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Okay. I think that's enough for today. You did great work. You'll be a damn fine addition to our team. You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Time to talk to Gabe. Are you giving me the silent treatment? I'd understand if you were. Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. I... Did you rehearse that move? No. Only in my mind. <laughs> so, need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Gabe, okay, I'm really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people? Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. Now that we're talking about it, Guess I never realized. That I can kick your ass? 
Yeah, I guess. You know, I never realized what your life must have been like. On your own. I was fine. You know, when I pulled you off the of Mac and you hit me, I, I was angry. Then I thought about how you took him apart. Like you've done it before. Didn't you go to juvie? Isn't that like prison? Yeah. That was the hardest time of my life. Some days I... I didn't think I'd make it out. But I get the feeling you've been through worse. I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. Maybe it's time you open up. I want to talk to Gabe, but what can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? There's something off about me. I know what other people are feeling. I can see these auras around them. And if they feel strongly enough, if they're angry or sad or afraid, I feel it too. And then I lose control. And this has happened? For a long time. Like Mac. I felt all that anger like it was my own. I think it was pretty clear that Mac was angry. It's more than that. He wasn't just angry at you. He's angry at himself. He thinks he's going to lose Riley. Did Riley tell you that? No, totally. During our sleepover. Right after braiding each other's hair. Okay. Okay. You sure it's not just, you know... It's not just in my head, Gabe. I promise. It's not from meds, or stress, or trauma, or whatever. It's real. Can you tell what I'm feeling right now? You're feeling like you need a lot more beer. That's true most of the time. <laughs> I don't expect you to believe me. No one does. So you can actually feel what other people are feeling? Yes. You're like going inside their heart. I guess I am. Dude, you have superpowers. <laughs> You're fucking with me, right? I'm serious. Did you listen to anything I just said? This is terrible. Okay, okay, maybe superpowers is a bit strong. It's just... 
I have no idea what's going on with people half the time. Charlotte's teaching me how to improve my emotional intelligence, but this, this is on another level. You can get in there. That's, that's really special. Special. That's really your take on all this? Totally. I mean, it's whatever you make it, right? But it doesn't matter what's going on. I'm here for you. Don't forget that. Tell me about the guitar. Oh, shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? <laughs> well, what do you think? I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. Welcome home. Oh, hey, dude, what's up? Hey, is Ethan up here? No, he was heading home. He was, but I haven't seen him in a while. I told him not to wander off. I'll find him. Gabe, wait. Earlier, when I was talking with Ethan, he told me he was hiking up the mountains to explore the old mine. What? Why didn't you say something? I'm sorry. If he actually went up there, we need to move. Now. Okay, let's go. <laughs> 